I have been working on a to-do list application for the past 7 to 10 days. I'll not call it a full-fledged to-do list because it is not. It is a blend of little bit of to-do, little bit of Pomodoro and little bit of time tracking. And I built this app because I was in source for a productivity app that helps me to do the thing, not just capture, add and organize tasks. I wanted an app that motivates me to do the task and stay focused on the task at hand. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have been able to build for myself and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. I would say the app is not completely built by me, rather it's 20% me and 80% cloud AI. And it was very fun trying to build my first application. I was going through 100 days of Swift UI by Paul Woodson from Hacking with Swift, but I quit that program midway. I was in day 51 when I quit and I just picked coding like two weeks back. I'm using a lot of help from AI and little bit of my knowledge and a lot of AI knowledge to build this app. And there are two places from where I have drawn inspiration for this app. First is Focusmate, which I'm a big fan of. It is a co-working space, virtual co-working space. And second is Slash. Slash is a to-do application about which I made a video around two years back. But it is no longer in active development. I guess if Slash was in active development and it was marketed well, it would have been a game changer in productivity space. I created this application to solve my own focus problems, to be able to focus on tasks for a longer period of time and to make the process in itself rewarding. Currently, the app is available for free and it is available only for Mac devices because it is built using Swift UI. So if you are looking for a productivity app, if you are looking for an app that helps you to do things, then you might want to have a look at this. I'll go to the landing page of the app this is a landing page that I have built using V0, which is a AI tool by Barcel. And just a little bit of info about what the app is. I will put out this link in the description so that you can get the application from here. You will need to click on get Gen Focus, and it will take you to the Gumroad page where the app is hosted. I do not have the developer account to host it in App Store right now. So you will need to put in Jero over here. Click on I want this. Put in the email address and you will be able to see this GenFocus DMG file. You will need to download the DMG file first. After you download it, click on open and you will just need to drag this GenFocus app icon in the application folder. I already have it, so I will not do that. I'll close this. Now let me launch GenFocus application. This is a simple layout of GenFocus application. I'll just go to full screen to show you. Let me close this first. Okay, so this here is how GenFocus application looks like. This is not a complete to-do list. Rather, it is an application that helps you to do the tasks that you already have figured out, that you already have saved or already have captured. So you will first need to add a task over here. You can write, let's say, read a book. And if you add a task, it will be shown over here and it has two options. First is the option to complete the task. Second is the option to start a focus session. So if you complete this task, it will be removed from here and it will go in the history section where you will have this nice timeline view of the tasks that you have configured. And you can see here, there are a lot of new tasks over here because I was trying to debug some problem that was with the application. So I just created these demo tasks. I'll just go back to progress over here, create a new task, create a book, okay? So let's start a focus session. When you start a focus session using this application, it will create a full screen animation view to prompt you to focus. Let me just press on this bolt icon and this is what it will look like. A full screen animation giving you a prompt to focus. Time to focus, read a book and just prepare yourself for the task. It will appear for like 10 seconds. Let's cross it. Okay. Great. Now, this is another great feature that I have built for this application. That is this mini window view that allows you to see what the task is that, are, that you are doing currently. So I close this main window and it is still here. This mini window will be visible over all other windows on your screen. Now let me open the browser and you can see here we still have this mini view on the top. So it will always stay on the top and float over the top of the screen. 
And you can see here, we also have a time tracker, which will track the time that you are spending on each task. If you want to take a break, then you can click on this pause icon. And if you want to resume, you can just press on resume. Another feature that I have built is when you are in a focus session, it will gently remind you about the time. The reminder will remind you every X minutes, which you can configure from the setting. If you go to settings, you have the option for reminder settings. And here you can choose the reminder interval, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. And you can also choose the reminder sound currently it is plus. So with this setting, if I'm in a focused session, it will remind me every 10 minutes with a gentle sound and close this main window. When you finish this task, it will give you the same full screen animation view, congratulating you about the task that you have recently completed. And here we have the animation view for completion of task and the mini window will disappear and you can open the main window from here. Another thing that you can do with task is that you can add a category to task. You can say read a book and this belongs to the category reading. And anything that you write after add the rate will act as a category. You can see here we have the category reading. To manage categories, you can click on this icon and it will open this view to manage categories where you can assign different color to the category or you can edit the category. Then we have this focus progress over here, which is also another cool feature or the feature that I really like. With this focus progress, here you will be able to set a daily goal. How many hours or how many minutes of focused work or how many hours of deep work do you want to do every single day? And I have set it as five hours. If you click on save, okay, let's move it to three hours and the progress will be measured against the goal. If it is three hours, I have completed 23% of the daily goal. And this year is stats for the task completed, total tasks completed. And this year is the average focus, average focus time for task. And because we have 22 tasks completed, which were demo tasks, you can see these were demo tasks over here. It is showing the average focus for task as one minute only. And Below that, we have another section to view the weekly overview of our goal. It will show you a bar chart plotted against the daily goal, which is three hours. And this is our current progress. And over here, we have another tab called as stats, where you will be able to see all the important stats about the tasks that you have completed, total focus time, average focus time, a most productive category, longest focus session. And below here, we have the time breakdown by category. You can assign a task to all the categories and it will be very helpful to categorize how you are spending time, where your time is going. And below that, we have the recent completion section where it will show you five tasks that were recently completed. And you can also select different time interval for stats today, yesterday, this week, this month, this year, and all time. Then we have history tab, which we already have talked about. It gives you a timeline view of all the tasks that you have completed. Over here will be the month and below that will be the date. And it will look like this. If you click on any of the task, it will show you all the other important information such as, such as completed date, focus duration, and task created date. I have not added a lot of settings right now. There are just two settings. That is your name, which appears on the top. Hey Prakash. And you can, okay. Uh, it should be code, but I, I have written code over here that is done by AI, by the way. So you're ready to get it done, get your tasks done. The simple prompt or simple code to motivate you. And here is the reminder setting. And here is the section to send box and feature request where I'm using this inside to website to collect feature requests. And here is the symbol about section, which is nothing you can check for update if a new update is available. This is all about this productivity tool, which is a blend of to-do, Pomodoro and time dragging. The best one out of which is the focus session uh, feature, which allows you to focus on a particular task. It gives you a little prompt before you start the focus session. 
and after this focus animation is completed it will give you a mini view of that task it will give you a mini view with the task with a simple time tracker over here and this mini window with the task tracker and two icons will always be visible over all other windows on the screen and I think this is very important to always see the task that you are doing at least for me this is very important to be able to see what is the task that I am doing if I am not able to see I might get swayed away by some other things and the gentle reminder at certain intervals is another great feature so I just click on complete and you have this nice looking completion animation so this is all about the Gen Focus application which I'm building for the past 7 to 10 days. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the app, you can go through the link in the description genfocus.prakashjoshipacks.com and you can go through the Gumroad link and download it, install it and start using it. And I would really love to get some feedbacks and suggestions for this app. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great time. See you again. Bye-bye.